This is Hugh, our morning, CEO. Morning, How are you? I'm good. Some of our staff here from uh, Motorsport Hello. UK, running all the motorsport program in the UK. Awesome. They've already engraved your name on the trophy. Yeah. <laughs> A couple of months ago, I went to visit my dad. He has his briefcase, and I opened the briefcase, and I have all my old licenses. Really? Yeah. I noticed there was some penalties in there that are written. <laughs> Come on, then. We're going to show you around. This takes us around the whole history of, uh, of British motorsport from the early days. Isn't it crazy back here when they didn't even have face covers? I know. Can you imagine how sore their face must have been uh, after, after the race? No this is the... Uh, the trophy we hope you're going to win at the weekend. Do you rub it or something? <laughs> <laughs> it goes they don't make trophies like the old days. My dad well, had one of those boxes. Finally get into your era of uh, <laughs> the latter years. Two more world champions in karting last year, British. I mean, you've always talked about, you know, yeah. it would be difficult for anybody to do what you did when you did. Yeah. And, and we've got to get back to that. You know, when I was racing as a kid, it was literally me and my dad. When it's a family event, it is. that's really when it's great. The plaque behind you, which is the launch plaque for here. Uh, Alistair Gibson made it. Ron Meadows helped us with sort of cool. bits from your car. Yeah, Firstly, I'm very grateful for Lewis coming today and sort of uh, officially opening our, our premises here. Actually, we've got something we've got to give you. The Hawthorne Trophy. You're going to have to have a trophy after your name. So, so yeah, start, to think cool about, start to think about it now. Give yourself a few years. Right, that's pretty awesome. Well, thank you to, to you and to all your team. And what an amazing facility you have here. It's quite amazing for me to see you know, how much it's grown and how important it is. And that this is really a testament to just how great UK Motorsport is. Really, really happy to hear about the diversity and inclusion program yeah. you have as well. Who could be a better person to open our new premises here in Vista than the current world champion? Not just the current world champion, a British world champion seven times over. Behind the scenes, we've got really thousands volunteer. and thousands of volunteers. Particularly over the marshals. Yeah. Well, well at Silverstone this weekend, we'll have um, 800 marshals. And it's interesting to note that he remembers the role that we played, Motorsport UK played in his journey to where he is today. He has the old licenses he had from an eight-year-old boy karting right back in those days, still kept at home. Don't you think it says something about British motorsport as a whole that we are continuously developing the next generation? Yeah.